There's one that kicked off at around 6 o'clock this morning. That was the 68-kilometer one. Uh, there's what the fun and walk also kicked off at around 7 o'clock. And then we'll have, I think, a 5-kilometer walk that kicks off at 8 o'clock. But this obviously wouldn't be possible without our host. We are in the Eastern Cape where the Legends Marathon is happening. Our host is Premier um, Nokolo Kivit. Premier, good morning. Welcome to Morning Live. Uh, good morning, Lebo. Thank you very much, and good morning to the viewers. As we drove in here, we saw a board that said Home of the Legends. It, which, what is this, and which direction is this being uh, posted at? The Home of the Legends is the brand uh, for the province. You would know that um, um, most of our leaders, be it in sports, be it in politics, uh, just across the broad, you'd find a lot of them coming from this province. And we've realized that um, we also have a very rich heritage um, and, and, and culture. Um, we decided to brand the province as to leverage um, on, on the benefits of those uh, legends um, that were before us. Yeah. And, and the ones that are with us uh, and therefore this marathon seeks to say um, here we are Eastern Cape, we also have runners uh, and they, they, they are out in their numbers today. Um, remember that the, also this is Heritage Month yeah. um, and therefore we felt it necessary that we have a, a program like this that would input in our tourism uh, strategy which seeks to build as, as, as a pillar in building our economy. Uh, and therefore, as, as this is taking place, we have thousands of people who have descended on the Eastern Cape. Why was a marathon the ideal way to celebrate Eastern Cape? Um, we've looked at the geography of the space and we've realized that um, Buffalo City, where we are, um, has, has also a very rich uh, heritage. Uh, the site where the marathon started, the Bishop Massacre site, you'd know that it was just before our freedom, at the dawn of our freedom, mm. that we still had to struggle. Uh, when the rest of the people were looking at the World Trade Center, um, uh, but in this province we're still fighting uh, the regime. A and therefore, hence, we started at that site mm. with the view to finish off here. Uh, as, as also part of contributing to this, the, the Buffalo City being one municipality, uh, the former King Williamstown and the former East London joined together. And therefore, this is for us um, a, a great event in that the marathon is going to be an annual event, yeah. going to attract people to the province uh, as a direct um, investment into our tourism sector, more jobs being created, um, which, which con will contribute a great deal to the improvement of the livelihood uh, of the people of the area. Speak to us about those jobs. Um, you know, what kind of jobs are we talking about and who does it attract and who are they targeted at? Um, our tourism strategy, uh, you would know there's a national strategy to which the provincial strategy is talking to. It seeks to say by 2020, we would have uh, created more than 200,000 jobs. Mm. Um, currently, we, uh, we are finding and carving a niche in the tourism industry because of this beautiful scenery of this area, uh, as well as its rich heritage, and therefore combining the two um, as, as a pillar of our um, tourism strategy. Uh, and hence, we, we, with the annual uh, marathon taking place and also leveraging on other marathons and uh, big events, we are hosts of the Ironman mm. as a province. Yeah. We are hosts of the op uh, Africa Open um, uh, Golf Championship. Yeah. So we, all those events help us market the province because they bring also international visitors to the area and they all, not only uh, participate in the sport they mm. also leverage on the other um, uh, attraction areas and history of the, the province what are your personal desires and hopes for the legends marathon 
that it, it grows from strength to strength because we realize that uh, it, it can put this province in the map uh, as other marathons have done in other provinces. This also has that kind of potential of putting the province in the map, but also uh, of bringing the especially young people here to, to participate in nation building activities mm. rather than uh, and, and therefore to contribute indirectly to a, a reduction in crime as people will now see right in front of them that it is possible that you can run and win this much mm -hmm. so we we also looking at uh, attracting people yeah. uh, besides the runners themselves being paid besides the um, when they win the, the, the people who come from abroad sleep and and are uh, hosted uh, by all of us and therefore job opportunities yeah. uh, keeping people busy and and therefore I do want I do wish the op the marathon uh, will grow from strength to strength now you know I imagine organizing something like this is a humongous task what are you going to measure it with to say it was a success or these are the areas that we need to improve on what's your benchmark um, well as this is the first one yeah. it's, it's it's really difficult uh, but judging by the numbers of participants uh, those who ran who participated in the running um, the, the first marathon uh, which kicked off at six o'clock huge attendance um, and I, I, I wasn't sure it would it'd be that huge. The, the 25 kilometer, the one that took off at seven, again, when I got there, it was another a, a great success and a huge number of people. And therefore, when people see that it's, it's, it, it can be done, yeah. they are going to start coming out. And, and therefore, for me, already by the numbers of runners, yeah. it, has, it has already achieved success. Premier, thank you so much. Always a pleasure. Uh, Rukolo Kivit is the Premier of the Eastern Cape talking to us about the Legends Marathon as well as a project called Home of the Legends. Let's take a break. We go to the Art Bulletin after this. Stay with us.